everyone, welcome to Divine Miracles channel. Thanks so much for subscribing and I am Be Divine and today we're going to be going on with our work with the runes and what we're doing is we're bringing in the sound of the runes, we're bringing in a colour into our aura and we are bringing the vibration. So we're making the vibration when we make the sound. So this changes the vibration of our body and so we can bring in the energy of that which we are intending to do. And so today we're working with Hagalas. So just a big, if you think of the letter H, you're pretty well onto it, okay? So Hagalas is the power of the past coming into the present. It is a very um, powerful kind of a melding of the two. So it's bringing about a lot of change. So as we're bringing in this color, we're going to be bringing in the color orange because it's the fire and the ice and the past and the present. So my feeling was that it was orange and um, we're going to bring, imagine that color as we are chanting and we're going to do 10 of the chants. And the sound that we're making today is just H-A or ha, okay? doesn't matter how you say it but ha we want to um, try to emphasize the h at the start the h at the start so this is a crisis time so it's a crisis transformation time so it doesn't mean that it's got to be a bad thing it just means that now you've come to this point where you need a change where you want a change so if you're doing this just because um, you know you've been following on or whatever that's okay. Everything is happening in the right timing. So there may be some things that are going on in your life that you are still holding on to. So thus, we do this exercise today to shake that out of us. So, <clears throat> so it's a powerful integration of past and present. It's bringing change into our life. It's working with you if you are into magic and all that kind of thing. It's working with you on that level to heighten your awareness and to bring in extra energy into your body. Uh, it's a journey to the layers of the past so that we can really move forward freely into the future. So I like this one. Okay, <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> so, Hagalas, we are bringing in the color orange. We're bringing in the sound into our body, ha, which brings a vibration and it will, it will vibrate most, most probably right in um, your navel chakra area, which is orange as well. So we want it to merge in with between the, uh, the navel chakra and the sacral chakra, which, which is yellow. We want those two to be working together and merging. Okay, there's so many different parts of your chakra as well that's working at any one time. So we're working on uh, the different auric level, levels as well that correlate to those colors. So. Anyway, let's get started. I'm going to go through this. Just do this with me. Um, you may feel a clearing out in your ears. As I said, the whole, because we're working in our mouth and we're doing a vibration, our head's going to be a little bit tickly. But when we make the sound, the H sound, we should be feeling it in those chakra areas that I just told you, which is going to expel a lot of crap out of there. Okay? We're getting rid of it. Bringing in the color, getting rid of anything negative in and out, in and out, okay, in a flow. So let's go, let's try this out and we'll talk at the end. All right, just close your eyes. Ha. Bring the orange in. Ha.
Okay, friends, how did you feel? That was intense, huh? Uh, focusing on the orange or just imagining yourself in this orange ball of light is incredibly powerful when you're doing the whole thing. Imagining that, you know, change is going to come to you and all of those things, you can do that if you want to, but then you'll start getting carried away with your thoughts. So the idea is to focus on the color orange. See an orange in front of you. Pretend that you're looking through cellophane of orange. Pretend you're in a beautiful egg of orange. This is really important. And I hope that you are feeling it in the solar plexus and the navel chakra as we pushed it out. It's almost inevitable that it was going to happen. We're just pushing it out, pushing it out, getting rid of stuff, getting rid of stuff, freeing ourselves. So let me know how you felt after doing this process. Know that it, you're totally safe doing anything like this. This is something ancient. We would have done this a very long time ago, like, you know, hundreds and thousands of years ago. We would have done a lot of work with our chanting in big groups and doing this all together and feeling the energy of each other and changing things in our life, you know, and healing our body in this way. So, journeying into the past, having past sight, awakening abilities from the past, but letting go of things that you don't need anymore. Okay, that's all going to happen with Hakalas, the um, uh, Nordic runes these are. And so this is one of them and this is what if you were to get a reading, then Hagalas would be telling you that something is about to change in your life and you know, you're about to reach this point of transformation, but things need to shake up. In order for you to do that, you need to look at yourself very, very deeply. See how this would work in our life now. So there we go. Um, I hope that you enjoyed. And I will be making some more of these, so stay tuned. And until the next video, thanks so much for subscribing and being here. Don't forget to check out my website full of information, articles, and advice, and free ebooks, and books, and cards, and crystals, and all kinds of things at www.divinemiracles.com. That's divine with an E because that's my last name. <laughs> so many people ask, oh, you know, you spelled it wrong. No, I spelled it right because it's my name. <laughs> okay. Um, I'll see you and have a beautiful day. Bye everyone.